Hi, my name is Peter McCrory. I'm the Dean for Medical Education at the University of Nicosia and Emeritus Professor of Medical Education at St George's in the University of London. The University of Nicosia is in partnership with St George's and delivers its four-year graduate entry programme in Cyprus. At the end of that programme, students are awarded the St George's Medical Degree, that's the MBBS. I decided to apply for the course in medicine from St George's at the University of Nicosia because it combines so many factors that I found really appealing. Uh, to start with, the PBL-based approach is an excellent way to start your studies with a different case to learn about every week. And on top of that, I get to study in beautiful sunny Cyprus. The programme we've designed for you is modern, innovative, relevant and fun. Over the four years, you'll learn how to take histories from patients, how to examine them, how to reach a diagnosis, and how to treat and manage their illness. And you work with real patients right from the very start of the program. The medical school laboratories have been designed to enhance the learning of anatomy, physiology, histology, and clinical skills. These advanced resources support small group learning and emphasize clinical and anatomical training by putting theory into practice. As a medical school, it offers a well-developed and intriguing way of delivering medical education to students who learn theory and actually apply it on the spot, which I find to be one of the best ways to deliver the material. I'm delighted to be in the University of Nicosia as the Foundation Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology. The St. George's curriculum is well acclaimed and it is recognized by the General Medical Council and the students who have been with us seem to be uh, doing well when they go to the foundation, yes. I'm currently doing my F1 position at the John Radcliffe Hospital in Oxford. Seeing as I graduated from St George's University of London at the University of Nicosia, I obviously gained a primary medical qualification from the UK. This was obviously important in order to secure an F1 place. Learning about international health and healthcare systems outside the U.S. has always been an interest to me, and this program has afforded me this opportunity to explore this interest through first-hand clinical experience. Comprising more than 40 nationalities, with the first cohort having graduated in 2015, the program's innovative, student-centered and systems-based curriculum integrates clinical and scientific aspects from the outset, promotes contextual and collaborative learning, critical thinking and reflection, skills that are essential for a career in medicine. One of my favourite things about this school are the volunteering opportunities through the Mobile Clinic Club. I have been involved in expeditions to rural villages to perform health screening tests and raise health awareness within these communities. The life of a medical student is as rewarding as it is challenging. Weekly schedules and lectures can be rigorous, but that is more than made up for when resolution of cases later becomes effortless. But aside from the high quality of education, life in Cyprus is actually quite pleasant and picturesque. The country and the people are warm and welcoming, and being a student here has been a truly maturing and refining experience.